Okay, today's May 2nd, 2013. We're here with Kathleen. And Kathleen is here for a myriad of problems, and she says that she has made a dramatic turnaround with oxidation, but that's actually not why I'm doing the video. But was that accurate, that the oxidation has done quite well with you? Absolutely. Summarize it in like 20 seconds, what, you, what, what it's done for you. Well, after my first IV treatments of ozone and essential phospholipids and L-glutathione, I like turned a corner. I went from about zero to 90 um, after the first treatment and I was just shocked. It was as if I had just walked through a door. Be prior to that I had been very ghost-like and overwhelmed by everything. Noise, people, too much activity. Um, and after the first treatment of these drips, I became grounded in the body, strong in the, in the body, as if I had been like that 10 years prior. And one of the important things for the viewer to know is you have f what I call four plus allergies. You can't take supplements. You can't even take probiotics. You're allergic to dozens of things, correct? Yes. And you're able to tolerate these quite well, correct? I do wonderfully with the drips. In fact, the drips are the only thing that I, my body will tolerate. I can't tolerate vitamins or most foods or herbs or tinctures, nothing. Our, our goal is to turn that around and hopefully the oxidation can reset your immune system. The main reason why I wanted to do this though is for your teeth. <clears throat> now before we addressed your teeth, tell us about the palpitations you were having. Um, I would say maybe every every two weeks, maybe every three weeks I would all of a sudden um, have this intense feeling in the middle of my chest here where there would be all this pressure and weight on it um, and then my breathing would be somewhat suspended and my heart would just race like crazy and this would this would <laughs> this would happen uh, this would last about 10 to 20 seconds in which I just completely stopped everything that I was doing and just allowed this thing to happen um, and it was very very intense and I knew that if I had gone to a cardiologist um, that they would have done a lot of testing most of it invasive um, and I just really didn't want to do that so I didn't do that it may not have been the smartest thing but I didn't want to do it and I didn't what did we do what did we find well, when I saw Dr. Rowan, um, he talked to me about my teeth, and he wanted me to get my teeth checked out. I got my teeth checked out. One in particular, and correct? And one in particular, and I had the tooth removed, and that was the end of my heart palpitations. It just has not occurred since. And that was which tooth? Um, it was... Number 17, I, right? Number 17, yes. <clears throat> okay. For the viewer, number 17 is the lower left wisdom tooth, and energetically speaking, it happens to sit in the meridian complex of the heart small intestine. Um, we need to let the viewer know that the um, tooth number 17, the wisdom tooth, is in the meridian complex of the heart small intestine. and. I have had a number of people have problems um, with dysrhythmias um, <clears throat> and other heart issues. Now in your case, I picked it up energetically here in the office, sent you to a dentist, and he uh, agreed that there was a problem in there, right? Yes, he did. And so he, did, I, I'm he not a dentist. He does what he thinks he has to do dentally, and he thought he needed to take it out, right? Yes, he did. And then he took it out, and your heart got better. Yes. It, you know, I stopped having these intense palpitations where my heart just raced like crazy. And the, the funny thing is, is that Dr. Rowan had mentioned this to me when, I, when he talked to me about my teeth and being related to the different meridians. And, you know, I mean, I basically agreed, but... I didn't particularly take it seriously. I thought, oh, the teeth in my heart and all these palpitations. I thought, well, you know, maybe, maybe not. But the thing was, he was dead on. 
um, and I have not had these heart palpitations since my tooth was removed um, three months ago. Thank you for that. A lot of people kind of think I'm a nutcase sometimes, but I want to show the viewer where that comes from. I've had this on other videos, empirical relationships between odontomas and organs and disease. And we're going to come down here now to the wisdom tooth. That's number 17. You'll see it says small intestine, but it's heart as well. There we go, heart and jejunum. So, <clears throat> one of the first things I do always <laughs> is check people's teeth, as the viewer of my YouTube channel knows. May I post this on YouTube? Yes, you may. Thank you very much.